Did you know this Black Friday, you can sleep in. Black are all over the region. Retailers are calling this their super. 149,000 stores offering Millions sales of in the in greater greater sales changing hands. The stores. <laughs> the flu season is off to its earliest start. Seems to be a previously unknown variant of the flu. Really? Suspected case catching many experts on guard. Today I was feeling like maybe. Back on the breaking news, leading with unconfirmed reports of a smallpox small outbreak. outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. The National Guard units converging There's on no a trains. hospital in Central. The bridges Manhattan. are closed. It's, it's more than a is a very real more danger. More than a There's not enough vaccines. No. Let me stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. Known as the Green Poison, Central Park has been converted to a mass barrier. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government is expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging for one word of help. The yeah, first responders are either dead. No resources available. They treat them like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for. When we were activated, we knew the situation was bad. Worse than anyone knew. We are an elite, highly skilled group of embedded agents. They only call us when everything else has failed. We have no rules. We have no limits. Our job is to protect what remains. We are your co-workers. We are your neighbors. We might even be your friends. But when we get the call, we leave everything behind. We are the Division.
Chang, Northeast Section Commander of the Division. You have been activated because Brooklyn has become dangerously unstable. Isaac has updated us with your progress. Proceed to the nearest safe house for your full equipment loadout. Agent, I've confirmed that your fellow agent, Faye Lau, has arrived here. Check in with her when you get inside. We're losing this whole neighborhood. Rioters are moving through, in force, and headed this way. Put your people there. I see someone else got the call. I'm Agent Fei Lau, Division. Activated the same time as you, part of the second wave of us going in. I don't know what happened to the first wave, but unfortunately, there's still lots left for us to do. We don't have much intel, and we don't have the luxury of failure. Not with Manhattan under lockdown and Brooklyn on the brink. People like me. And you. We're what's left to hold the line. With any luck, we'll have more to go on once we rendezvous with the commander. More about the situation, about who's turning the streets into a war zone. Anything that's gonna help us do what we're supposed to do. And if you'll excuse me, Lieutenant. Officer Hazen and his team are handling situation reports. If you're looking for a hot spot, that's who you want to talk to. Hey, check these babies out. That means you really are a lucky bastard. You apparently won the genetic lottery. Yo, check out the merchandise. I'll be here when you change your mind. Hey, what you need? Thank God you're here, Agent. I've never seen Brooklyn like this. We're barely hanging on. I'll be your point of contact for any emergency ops. We've had plenty of action, and it's not letting up. Jesus. I'm not gonna have any hair left when this thing is done. 
Hey, what you need? Isaac can intercept transmissions from locations on the map, so you can get a little more intel on what you're getting into. Agent, Riders took the weekly food supply from the Brooklyn Heights Distribution Center. They try and sell it back to all the starving people. Plain and simple profiteering on the backs of people who are suffering. Get that food back. They're picking the bones of the city. Good shooting. Work, agent. We'll get that food back to the people who need it. New York, New York, you are listening to Rick Falassi and wouldn't you know it, the Tri-State Area's favorite pirate radio podcast. Probably its only pirate radio podcast. Now, we've talked about the JTF, the Joint Task Force that's made up of city cops and first responders. They've made a pretty big difference in a lot of neighborhoods since this whole crazy mess got started. But just like food, water, sanitation. 